another video for the grade 10 mathematics so this is a continuation for our week 8 the polynomial equations okay so please prepare the following your module 9 of course yourself your notebook and your ball pen so for this video you will learn how to illustrate polynomial equations and to understand polynomial equations we need to review the lesson on polynomial expressions so if you remember a polynomial expression is any expression of the form a sub n um, x to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 um, plus the up to a sub 1 x to the power of 1 plus a sub 0 where n is a non-negative integer and a co integer coefficient and a sub 0 a sub 0 a sub 1 up to a sub n are real numbers so let's check no if you really understood the definition so can you tell whether the following expressions are polynomials or not okay let's answer number one okay you can pause this video no to while you are answering or you will answer it together okay so for number one 4x squared plus 6x minus 5 that is a polynomial okay very good that is a polynomial for number uh, for number one okay this is polynomial how about number two okay so this is not a polynomial why because if you're going to simplify this five uh, square root of 5x x the exponent of x is uh, that is uh, not a uh, non negative not an integer number three is uh, of course that is a polynomial for number four this is also a polynomial how about number five of course this is not a polynomial because our exponent is negative how about number six this is a polynomial again ang ato lang exponent dapat delete lang siya delete siya uh, na negative no integer so kani ang kuan naman yung coefficient naman niya number seven of course this is not a pon not a polynomial because if we get to simplify this this is six x to the power of negative one so negative exponent how about number eight number eight is a polynomial of course with number nine and number ten is not a polynomial of course not a denominator okay so i hope you really uh, get the definition of our polynomial um, expression so a polynomial equation in which uh, in is when a polynomial expression p of x is a set to zero that is p of x equals zero when the terms are arranged from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent the polynomial equation is in standard form again take note no dapat standard form siya kung naka-arrange ang atomo exponent from highest to lowest okay the leading term of a polynomial equation is the term with the highest exponent again the leading term is the highest exponent of the term the leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the leading term while the degree of a polynomial equation is the highest exponent in the expression okay for example we have x cubed minus x squared minus 100 equals 0 the leading term is x cubed okay again ang leading term mo na siya ang term sa pinakadakong exponent so 3 2 so 3 mo na pinakadako this is our leading term the leading coefficient is 1 diba Dini ta magtan-aw kung may tatag leading coefficient sa atong leading term. Kung sa may coefficient sa x, wala ma kayo makita. So, that is understood na may 1. Okay? Then, the degree is 3. 
Unsa uh, exponent sa atong leading term? That is the degree of our polynomial. Okay, let us study other examples. Identify the leading term, leading coefficient, and the degree of the following polynomial equations. Okay, you can pause this video while answering. Okay, so let's answer. Okay, so these are our answers. So, for the polynomial equation, of course, the leading term is, okay, this is 3x squared. Our leading coefficient is 3. The degree is 2, correct? Then, 5x, 5, and 1. This is x to the power of 4. Again, ang leading term, not always sa uh, pinakauna nga term. Muna siya ang pinakatakong exponent. It is x4, 1, and 4. For letter D, that is, it should be 2x cubed, ha? It should be 2x cubed. Please check your kano kay x, 2x, and x. No, kung imo, we're going to multiply everything, no? Dapat mo result siya ginanhi. Ang yung first term, ay yung leading term is 2x cubed. Dahil yun, ang leading coefficient is 2, then the degree is 3. Then, we have um, 10x5, so karo ka, no? Then 10, then 5. For number letter F, that is the extra power of 7. Kaya muna ang pinakada ko. Then 3, then X po. The degree is 7. So, if you notice, the polynomial equations in letters C and F, no? Check, check, take note, no? C and F are not in standard form. You need to arrange the terms based on the exponents to easily identify the leading terms and coefficients. So, from here, no, ato i-arrange. So, mag-una, x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 10 equals 0. Then, for letter F, no, mag-una, ang 3x to the power of 7, x to the power of 5, 4x squared, 2x, and 8. So, men meanwhile, the binomials in letter D must be multiplied first. And, um, so, na, siya sumpay dan na. And from what we have learned in multiplying polynomials, the product must be so, kana, dilim na ito ma-identify, no? Dilim na ito ma-identify kinsa unsa ang leading term, leading coefficient, o leading, uh, the degree of the polynomial. Ato siya i-multiply ang tulo. So, meaning, x plus 3 times 2x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. So, the result is uh, 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x minus 3, no? So, letter, so, ni ganyan nga letter, letter D, no? Dapat, 2 ganyan siya, no? 2x cubed at ang leading coefficient. Okay, there is a uh, nasa typographical error. Okay, next. Okay, since you already have an idea about polynomial equations, let us now classify them according to their degree. Okay, so ang kung the degree of a polynomial is 1, that, uh, that is a linear equation. If 2, that is quadratic equation, if 3, that is cubic, 4 is quartic, then 5 is kentic. Then n is greater than 5, meaning mas dako yung degree, that is nth degree polynomial equation. Okay, so going back to, the, to our earlier examples, let us try to, to categorize the given polynomial equations according to their types. So for number 1, the degree is 2, so therefore this is a quadratic. 1, linear, kung 4 is squartic, kung 3, that is cubic, 5 is kentic, then for 7, that is 7th degree polynomial equation. Solving polynomial equations. So, when solving linear equations, such as 2x minus 5 equals 21, we can solve by isolating the variable on one side and a number on the other side. However, in the next activity, we have an x squared term. Okay, so if it looks different, then it is different. Hence, we need a new method for solving trinomial equations. So one method is using the zero product rule. Okay, there are other methods for solving uh, trinomial equations, but that is for the future module. Okay, so definition. So a polynomial equation is any equation that contains a polynomial expressions. 
So the steps below guide us on solving the roots of a polynomial equations. So first is write the equation in general form. That is a sub n, x to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1, x to the power of n minus 1 plus up to a sub 1, x to the sub x to the power of 1 plus a sub 0 equals 0. Then determine the degree of the polynomial, which tells us the number of roots it has. Then list down all the possible rational roots using the rational roots theorem. Then, of course, use synthetic division, long division, or factor theorem to determine the roots of the polynomial equation. So if the polynomial is in factored form, use the zero product rule. So the zero product rule is a zero product rule if A, B are non-zero factors, then A times B equals zero implies that A equals zero or B or equals zero or both A is equal to B equal to zero. So again, we will use the synthetic division for this module. Okay? Now our like following equations so for number one x minus four equals six so that is just very simple so you need to solve for the value of your x so this x minus four equals six so therefore that is okay okay so that is x minus four equals six so, if we do transpose the minus 4, it will become plus so 6 plus 4. So, x is 10. So, therefore, the value of your x is 10. So, this is just addition property of equality. No? You will add plus 4, then add plus 4 to the other side. Okay? So, for number 2, we will use the zero product rule. So, in solving this, we will solve separately the two binomials. So we have 5x minus 1 equals 0 and the other one is 2x plus <clears throat> 5 equals 0 okay so transpose no 5x equals 1 then divide both sides by 5 no okay 5 and ang um, coefficients our x so our x is 1 over 5 the other one is 2x equals, transpose the positive 5, it will become negative 5. Then divide both sides by 2. So our x here is negative 5 over 2. Okay, so these are our values of our x. 1 fa over 5 and negative 5 over 2. For number 3, so we'll just use the factoring, no? So, you will find factors of 8 that if we're going to add, the result is positive 6. Okay? So, x. We have our x here. So, 8. So, we factor sa 8 ngay kung i-add 6. So, of course, klaro kayo na 4 and 2. So, since positive 8 man, also plus yeah, 1. So, if we're going to check 4x, 2x, so that is 6. So, x, 0 product as add. Okay, so this is 0 and the other one we have x plus 2 equals 0. So our x here is negative 4 and our x here is negative 2. Okay? So as uh, what we discussed earlier, no? If on saang degree, no? Kung saang degree that is number 3, 2. Dapat duha iyahang roots. This is number 2, so if we're going to simplify this, no, ang degree da niya is 2, do pat do hapud. In number 1, the degree is 1, so that is why we only have one value of our x. For number 4, say degree da na x squared, x, so upat, no, 2, 3, 4. No, if we're going to simplify this, no, if we're going to multiply all of these, um, the first, uh, the, the term, <coughs> the leading term is x to the power of 4. No? So, dapat 4 yung roots. So, yun x squared minus 4, that is uh, difference of 2 squares. Diba? That is um, x plus 2 and x minus 2. Tama? x plus 2 
and x minus 2. Then we have x plus 1 and x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, so let's simplify now. x plus 2 equals 0. Then we have x minus 2 equals 0. This one. So x plus 1 equals 0. Oh, ang last is x minus 7 equals 0. So this is x equals negative 2. x equals 2. No, transpose lang no x equals negative 1 and x equals 7. So therefore, the roots are um, negative 2, 2, negative 1, and positive 7. So there are 4 roots. No? Claro ka, no? There are 4 roots kay 4 man atong degree. Okay? So let's proceed now to our next example. Okay, for number 5, we have x to the power of 4. Minus 7x cubed plus 17x squared minus 17x plus 6. So, so, na itong gabuha itong dana. Okay, so first step is, this, uh, is the equation already in general form? Of course, it's already in general form. Then step 2, you it has how many roots? Okay, very good. It has 4 roots because our degree is 4. Then next is, um, so, in finding the roots, we will just use synthetic division. No? Okay, so 1, negative 7, 17, uh, negative 17, and 6. So, diba, in synthetic division, na ay number dere. So, in finding the numbers dere sa atong gawas, no? Mangita tag factor sa 6. So, what are the factors of 6? Si mga factors sa 6, no? PD3, 3, PD2, PD1, mura ba na? Okay, pulipuli-puli ta. Our goal is dapat may mo siya 0 diri sa last. Kung diri siya 0, we'll try another factor. Okay, let's try 2. Ito nito, 0 diri, 1. Then 2 times 1 is 2. Plus na sad, that is negative 5 negative 10 no 2 times negative 5 negative 10 if plus na side no it is 7 7 times 2 is 14 negative 17 plus 14 is negative 3 tama then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 so that pag plus is 0 so therefore one of the roots is 2 meaning isa ni siya karot Kaya da dapat, wabotawag number diri, kung ma-zero siya diri, isa na siya karot. Pero kung dili na siya zero, meaning ana, makitatag another number, meaning di siya root. Okay, we'll just continue, no? Mag-add na sa ito, no? Okay, so, let's try three. No, three. Diri na siya ta magsugod, no? Diri ta magsugod. Okay, so this is zero, three, nine, 4, no? Pag plus is 4. 4 times 3 times 4 is 12. 7, 8, 9, 19. 19 times 3, that is 7. 57, tama? 19 times 3 is... Tama, 19 times 3. Oh, 19 times 3, okay. Parang 57, no? Tani is... Okay, so delete siya 0, no? So, delete siya pwede ang 3, kaya dapat 0. So, let's try another one. Okay, so erase na, no? Dili na mao. Okay, let's try one. Kanigyapon ha? Kanigyapon. Kanigyapon siya. Kanigyapon. Okay. So, sorry kayo. Nagkahiwi naman eh. So, one. This is zero. One. One. Negative four. Negative four. Three. Okay, very, 3. So, 0. So, isa ni ka-factor, no? 2, 1. So, ganun ni, this is remainder, this is constant, this is x, and this is x squared. So, pwede na nato din siya ma-factor. That is x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay? So, ato na ni-factor out. Pa-follow ba, no? 
So, so may factor sa 3 nga dapat negative 4 ang answer. So, man. Okay, that is negative 3 o negative 1. Tama? Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 3. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 4. So, therefore, ato na itong gabi itong 0 product. No, itong 0 product, that is x minus 1 equals 0. O x minus 3 equals 0. So, x equals 1 of x equals 3. So, therefore, your factors are 2, 1, 1, and 3. Okay? So, as you can see, no? Nagbalik ang 1. So, in writing that, that is, we will use multiplicity. Okay, meaning, kadwa siya nagbalik, no? If we're going to graph na siya, multiplicity, mag-bounce siya. Kedi siya mula host, but mag-bounce back siya. Okay, so, in writing our, um, in writing our roots, so the roots are, um, 2, 3, and 1, multiplicity of 2. Okay, so, ha? Or you can write man po, you can write 2, 3, 1, and 1. Okay? Pwede na po tayo na napagsulat. Or 2, 2, 3, and 1, multiplicity of 2. Kaya kanduha man nagbalik ang 1. Okay? Let's answer number 6. <clears throat> For number 6, x to the power of 5. So, x to the power of 5. Okay, no? That is meaning 0. Ngayon, we have duha ka x minus 3. So, klaro na kayo na nga. Um, so, our x here is 5. So, lima ka. Pa, lima ka, 0, no? Dayon ka ng x minus 3. Duha man po na. So, that is x may equals 3. No? Kay, duha man kay na may squared. So, diming duha ka x minus 3. Duha ka x minus 3. Tama? Then, x plus 1. Tulupod ka po kay 3 man. So, that is x equals negative 1. So, in writing the roots, that is 0, sorry, kaya na, gubot na ka ito, 0, multiplicity of 5, dayon, 3, multiplicity of 2, dayon, 1, multiplicity of 3. Okay? Sorry, kayo gobot ka itong bisulat. Okay, so you can review this part of the video in solving for the x. So, for number 5, again, no, synthetic lang. Pag-abot na dayon siya kung may mo na siyang quadratic, no? May mo siyang 0, uh, constant, x, x squared, factoring na dayon. Okay, so that's for our number 5 and 6. Let's proceed. Okay, so for your activity, you need to answer activity 2, page 17. Meaning that, okay, so meaning this part here. And activity 3, all only numbers 1, 2, 8, and 9. Okay, so that's for, and of course, you'll answer the assessment on pages 21 to 22. Okay, so for your next module, the module 10, sorry, the module 10 is just the application of your uh, polynomial equations, no? Problem solving, on problem solving, and of course, problems, no? You will solve problems on the uh, polynomial equations. Then you will answer the assessment part on module 10 only, okay? So, I think that's all for our module, modules 9 and 10. Okay? So, see you on our next video. Bye.